they can actually damage your paint. Your trip wizard GPS is working? Control number is not working. It's about 99 degrees outside. Uh, one more. What was she thinking? You want to know what a good combo is. I got to give honest opinions. Full hookups of electric, water, and sewers. Welcome to Calico Parking <laughs> with a big arrow. Ching, ching. They also have what's called the Calico Odessa. They suck the blood from the goat. That really stinks. I did not know that you had to get these tanks. We're in Vegas. Can't complain. This is the place. It's called Lindo. And that says a lot when you travel full time. Yeah. Two hours and 28 minutes. Why is this map? Mine was really messed up. slow to even open. Let's see if that takes care of the problem. We're gonna work our way to Las Vegas. We're gonna stop at Peggy Sue's Diner. It's a Harvest House. It's kind of a historic 50s mm -hmm. diner, isn't it? Yep. We got between a quarter and a half tank of fuel, so we're gonna stop at a TA for our best TSD discount. So it shows Lowe's is... Loves. Loves. <laughs> is $3.06 a gallon. TA is $2.54. That's on their new app, TSD's Open Roads new app, it now shows you the price with the discount. So when you get there, obviously it's going to show a higher price, but once you get your discount, you'll get it reimbursed to you within like a couple days usually. If you have an RV, you're wondering if you're the only one that seems like you're forgetting something every time you take off, you're not alone. Yes, we don't always use our checklist. Can't wait till we get whatever RV we're gonna end up getting. It's uh, kind of lonely not having Miss Michelle next to me. If you come here to Wilderness Lakes or any other park for that matter, and they have eucalyptus trees, make sure you know what a eucalyptus tree looks like because they draw sap and all kinds of debris all over your your coach, your vehicle, and they will spot them and it is extremely hard to get out. And I was talking to a guy that was um, with a company that was cleaning an RV next to us and he told us about those eucalyptus trees. They can actually damage your paint. Just a little FYI. Vegas is, for us in the RV, it's gonna be about a six hour drive. We weren't supposed to leave here. We were good for another day, but a lot of times when we have a long drive, we like to take off a day early and stop at a harvest house and split the trip up and get to see something unique. Well, just about halfway, there was Peggy Sue's Diner along the interstate. Then we're gonna stop there and overnight, it's a harvest host. And we called them to make sure everything was still good. They do not have any dine-in. They have a pizza parlor also, and the review says that's really good. Uh, somebody even claimed it was the best they ever had. Who knows? But that's our plan, and that's what we're going to do. And we're taking you with us. Enjoy the ride. Your trip wizard GPS is working? Mine isn't for some reason. You want to lead me and then I, so I'll do the update here while we're driving. You want me to lead, you said? Yeah. Okay. And then I'll have, the, have it updating while we're driving. Okay. I did the update, that's working now. Oh, okay, you want to lead then? Uh, which would you rather? Yeah, we, because it's hard for me to go slow unless I'm behind you. Okay. All right. Well, I'll let you go ahead. All right. Now keep right and enter the highway. We got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. Everything here At least to stay alive And the time that we share Makes it all worthwhile Got this place on Do you feel that we got something strong? And I saw you
Fuel time. Potty time. Potty time. So I tried using my TSD card. And you put you have to put your four-digit control number in to activate it to get fuel. TSD is not open. We're trying to see why our uh, control number is not working. And then it says press one to get transferred if your control number is not working. I've tried about 15 to 20 times, and every time it puts on the music and then they disconnect us, like somebody's working after hours and doesn't want to answer their phone apparently. I'm not sure what else could be doing that. We have about 29 minutes left until we get to Peggy Sue's. It looks like we may have enough fuel to make it. <laughs> it's really close to all the way to uh, Vegas, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Hopefully we can get across this California border into Nevada so that we can get our fuel even cheaper. will do. We're right in between two Class A's and uh, looks like we're level. We're actually perfectly level so this works out really well. Hey Siri, what's the temperature? It's about 99 degrees outside. I have to turn the generator on kick on the air. The sun's bright. It is very bright. Well, this is it. Thank you Sue. Somebody calling you? Parked right here in between two Class A's, and uh, we're just going to take the car up there. It's hot out. We got our heavy artillery on, and we're going in. Pizza entrance. We got an ice cream parlor this way. I thought Michelle wanted supper. What's she doing? And then there's a pizza parlor around that way. Uh, yeah, like a cheeseburger and a strawberry shake, please. Hello? We ordered our food and they gave us a pager. And they said a pager only works in the gift shop. Jimmy Dean. lady said that mint chocolate chip mixed with cookies and cream in a shake is really good. That'll be it. COVID, we have to take our food outside. But this is where you could sit. Oh, pies, Michelle. Pies right there. Oh, you're getting lemon meringue, aren't you? Well, we're gonna sit out here. Could take it back to our home and eat, but it's not as comfortable when we have the slides in for eating, so we're gonna just sit out here. King Kong back here. Nice view of the mountains back there. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if we can get that to come in. There they are. Couldn't With really masks on. No, the mountains don't have masks on. Oh, I think King Kong and <laughs> dinosaurs. We're gonna eat and we'll let you know how it is. Are we gonna have the pie first? Not that food. 
It was okay. Mediocre, I would say. We I heard would agree. we heard that the pizza is fabulous, so I don't know. And we didn't have that. I wouldn't come here just for the food, but you know what? As I was telling Michelle, this is one of those places like it's a historic landmark stop, the a place you need to stop. Mm -hmm. you, yeah. If we didn't come, we'd always be wondering. Yeah, you'd always be wondering what we missed out on. You don't know unless you go. Kind of like that RV and thing. You're always gonna wonder what it could have been like. You don't. Can now, I eat my pie now? <laughs> there it is in all its glory, as Michelle would say. You're gonna have to take a bite and tell us how it is. Drum roll. Lemon meringue. Done with the pie, and she kind of changed her mind. Yeah, I didn't even finish it. Yeah, I had a bite, and I was like, yeah, I've definitely had better. Done with the pie? Maybe they're not known for their lemon meringue because that's what I got. Yeah, that could be it. If you're coming by this area, you gotta stop by. Gotta stop, gotta experience it. There's two pigeons fighting. <laughs> I just don't want them to poop on us. Oh. And that shake mixture. What was she thinking? You want to know what a good combo is? Go to Dairy Queen and get Reese's Peanut Butter Cup and Butterfinger Blizzard. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, she may have got me hooked on that. We didn't have any issues here last night. It's fairly quiet. We had a couple semis that pulled next to us here, and honestly, I didn't even hear them. We had another motorhome here. Michelle said, let's try to give them another try with their food and have breakfast. Okay. And uh, about the same thing. So our recommendation is to try the pizza. We haven't tried it, but we again, we heard it's good. Hate to say anything negative, but you gotta give honest opinions. We were trying to decide whether to go to this uh, haunted town. It's here really close, Calico. What do you think? The Calico ghost town is only 3.5 miles up the road here. And we do wanna get checked in as early as we can so that we're assigned a good site today. But we're only three and a half miles. We're at least gonna go up here to the ghost town and just check it out. And the website says they do charge admission, $8 a person. So. Yeah, so we'll see. Let's go find out. Ghost Town is an actual park, huh? Well, yeah. It says they a made regional it a, park. Yeah, made it a park. So, looks like we have to pay to get in here. Can't just take a quick look. Well, they have a campground here, too. The camping fees per night for full hookups of electric, water, and sewer is $40. Just electric, it's $35. And no hookup is $30. Uh, they also charge $15 dump fee. There is a senior, disabled veterans and active duty discount. discount offered only Sunday through Thursday nights. Which is what? $5 off. <laughs> when you come in, like we did, don't miss the big sign that says, Welcome to Calico Parking <laughs> with a big arrow. We apparently missed it. Fun facts. Calico Ghost Town was born in 1881. Born? Y yes, it says born. 
It was restored in 1951 by Walter Knott, and he is the founder of Knott's Berry Farms. I heard he was not the one. Ha, huh, he is. Yeah. It was donated in 1966 to the San Bernardino County. In its heyday, it produced $86 million in silver. So we're talking back in the 1880s. Wow. And $45 million in borax. And the, there's a few famous mines, apparently. Silver King, Odessa, Waterloo, Garfield, Oriental, Bismarck, and Maggie. Maggie? Maggie. <laughs> well, let's, let's go, go check it out. Uh, see if we find Clint Eastwood. In case you're wondering, there is some area for some RVs to park also. As you can see, there's one RV over there. I can just hear the spurs now. Ching, 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 ching. Bull-legged walk. General merchandise stores open. Oh, okay. So maybe there are some some stores open at least. some shows every once in a while yeah, down here too. So. It'd be kind of neat to come here after this COVID thing and see this place and see some uh, Western reenactments. Kind of missing out on a lot coming at a time like this. I know. But at least you get to be here and get to see it. They also have what's called the Calico Odessa Railroad, a scenic ride with historical points of interest, but I believe that also is closed. Last night we watched a couple YouTube videos trying to decide if we wanted to come here. We almost didn't. I know, but it, I, I every, think it's worth it. Especially once they get everything back in order, you know. Yeah. A lot of the other stuff open, train ride open. Right. All of that. I don't know, I didn't see anything about the train costing extra, did you? Yeah, there... Oh, was it? I think it was five dollars. Oh, well, so there you go. So you're really not missing out on much other than the extra things that you can buy. Maybe some of the stores open, the restaurant. 
They're not open. That cafe right there? Uh -huh. That might be open. There's ah. people sitting on the... Old Miner's Cafe looks cafe. like it might be open. There's people sitting on the patio. And I think I do see an open sign in the window. I feel like it is worth Different. the eight bucks a person. Yeah, oh yeah. I and do too. Kids 12 and under, I think it was five. Yeah. That's the exit to the Maggie Mine. The Maggie Mine tour is closed also. So, uh, hopefully by the time you get to come here, those things will be open. See ice cream over there. This place back here, you can actually get a beer. They had a couple beers on draft, and uh, then they have a cooler with some drinks as well. So you get your water or your soda. And then we have a sweet shop, Michelle. Just so happened to scope out. Surely you're not going in there, are you? But I am. Oh, they got a... A fudge called Butterfinger, honey. I'm always trying to stay away from sweets. What did I do? I saw a strawberry pop. Reminded me of my grandpa. My grandpa used to love strawberry soda. And, uh, here's your 45 grams of sugar. <laughs> oh boy. Here's to you, Gramps. Had a lot of sugar. <laughs> trying to stay away from sugar is kind of it's hard in certain situations. So people really did see like yes. Those so these stuff. two at the bottom were the ones with the four pictures. Yeah. Those are down at the campsite. Ew. Yeah. Really oh <laughs> really weird. And then these two on the top are from surrounding mines. Now I don't know if you can tell on this one, but you can see almost like two guys right here and then one guy right here. Yeah. And they kind of look like they're mining into the rock, okay? Ooh. Did you hear when she said these and those are down at the campsite? Mm. <laughs> and you gotta pay to camp down there? <laughs> I have a question. What is that? The chupacabra. The male still runs around trying to find her. Sometimes you can catch them in here at night. They don't them, they don't come out during the day. They kind of just do not do it to any people. So they just kind of come here around at night. You do not want to be up in the town at night. That's for sure. <laughs> So they actually um, go after goats. They suck the blood from the goats. Ew. Want to see something creepy? Here. Ew. I'm going to go. original buildings. Mm -hmm. It was not a saloon back then, it was a drugstore. Five of the original buildings are left. Pretty cool though. Yeah. It would be nice to spend a little more time. There was supposed to be an old cemetery site too. We didn't see that. Um, just when we drove up, we're driving up the lane. Uh -huh. I saw like a big cross. Oh, okay. Somewhere. I think that was where it was. Uh, I'm ready to head out. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Good thing this thing's on there. Yeah. All right. Be careful. All right, man. Have a safe. You too. Here we go. We got about another three-hour drive. We promise we won't. Make it last three hours for you, though. traveling and you find a place that you weren't planning on stopping at. But as you're moving down the road, you find some hidden gym that to stop at, like we did back at the uh, Calico Ghost Town. That was kind of a pleasant surprise. In fact, we were at Peggy Sue's before we even knew that it was so close. I 
everybody lost their stinking stinky slinky laying right off the side of the road. That really stinks. We made it. We had the red light on fuel, but we made it. Should save quite a bit of money getting fuel here. I always wondered if that fuel gauge worked. Apparently it does. Hi. Hi. How's your ride? Uh, good. Long. I about fell asleep. Did you see somebody lost their stinky, stinky, yeah. stinking, stinky slinky? Is I, what did. I, it. I did. I did. That's funny. <laughs> it looked like a new one too. I did. It didn't look so stinky. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have to go potty. Okay. Woo! Vinny was thirsty. Might as well go ahead and get propane while we're here. Well. Wow going to get propane. I did not know that you had to get these tanks recertified every uh, 12 years. I don't know if that's a state thing or what, but they would not fill it until we get the tank recertified. We got everything here, at least to stay alive. And the time that we share makes it all Thousand Trails here in Las Vegas isn't in the greatest area where there's a lot of RV parks are that way sometimes but um, oh this Boulder Station when the buffet is open they have a Friday night special of uh, ribs barbecued ribs and they're oh they're so good fall off the bone ribs buffet back to being here in Las Vegas. It's kind of like, how many times have you went to Vegas and you looked for a cheaper motel because you just wanted to be in Vegas, right? As you can see, where it's at, aesthetically, it's not the prettiest area, but the park's okay, the, the sites are a little tight, but it comes with your Thousand Trails membership. It's free. Um, other than I think if you want 50 amp turn, service, right. if you want, want 50 amp service, I think it used to be $3 a day extra. Not all parks do that, but some of them do. But we're in Vegas, can't complain. If Vegas is your thing. We're not gamblers, but we like Vegas. Um, typically would come a different route, but turn we went. Right. Turn left. I think I know where to go. We went this route because we wanted to stop at that TA Petro for that fuel. So we took a little bit different route, a little bit longer. So let's see here. Let's see, it's a quarter till three, 245. Let's see if we end up getting a very good sight or not. And here we are. Vegas. We made it, got all hooked up. We're gonna uh -huh. go down to our favorite Mexican restaurant. Hopefully yeah. it's still open. I didn't think of that. <laughs> We're going somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> this is the place, it's called Lindo Mi Chokin. Like me choking. That's the name. Very good. Their homemade chips are awesome. They give you a, kind of a bean dip. I won't show you because it's, it's used. <laughs> And salsa uh, in the little soup and their corn tortillas are homemade and they're really really soft they're almost like a flour tortilla really super good you have to try it lindo michoacan no i'm not checking there it is in all its glory and there's the chips in all their glory. <laughs> and there's those soft corn tortillas in all their glory. Yeah. Then we just got excited because we forgot right across the street from the Mexican restaurant was our $3 car wash and free vacuuming. <laughs> and then I said, I feel like we're home. Not about this side of town. Not, but, yeah, uh, but major favorite. 
Mexican places. And so that says a lot when you travel full time. Yeah. Our bellies are full and we're gonna roll down and see what the strip looks like. And we're gonna roll out of the car and try to roll up the stairs back in our house. Our house, our house on wheels. It's green, dude. Oh, it's green. Let's call it a day. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. See you next week.